Nausea is one of the most flexible characters that exists within Smite. I'm here today to teach you the basics. Hello there everyone, it's me, Celtic, your Smite professor, here today to talk about the basics on how to both play and build Nausea within Smite. Let's start with abilities. Starting with Nausea's passive, basically whenever Nausea hits something, be it with an ability or an auto attack, they are going to gain this stacking buff. This buff can have up to 20 stacks and each stack is going to give you 0.5% movement speed or at max stacks, 10% movement speed. The next thing of note here is Nausea's basic attack chain. There are four hits in this chain, two are normal, the third hit hits harder, and then the fourth hit comes out real slow, hits real hard, and is an AoE kind of cleave auto where he just overhand smashes everything in front. Moving into core abilities, we have Nausea's first ability, which is Ring Toss. Basically, you throw out this ring in a line. If you connect with anything, this ring is going to automatically bounce around to targets that are within the ring's range. Yes, the targets can be hit multiple times by the ring, but it does favor targets that have not been hit yet over targets that have already been hit. Now, what's so special about Ring Toss? First of all, it debuffs protections. Second of all, it gives nausea movement speed. Third of all, it's really annoying. I don't know, it has a stacking slow on it. It has everything you really want on an ability and it's going to give stacks to nausea's passive. Now, at level one, this ability is really strong. This is the ability we max first. This is nausea's clear. This is nausea's annoyance. If you catch someone out in the jungle with this ability, they are going to take a lot of damage. Now, Nausea's second ability is a good old-fashioned steroid. It's boosting attack speed, it gives you some critical strike chance, and depending on how many stacks of Nausea's passive there currently are, you are going to get a certain amount of HP back. It does directly depend on how many stacks the passive has, though. Nausea's third ability is another line attack. This line attack latches you on to the first god hit. If you latch on to a god, you are going to stun that god in place and then Zoom on forward. While you are in the air, zoom in forward, you are not able to take damage. What's exciting about this is when you land, you are going to do damage in an area around the person or god that you sashed. And finally, this ability can crit. For Nausea's ultimate, Nausea is going to become CC immune and charge forward. If Nausea connects with an enemy god, Nausea is going to take this enemy god into the sky where you are going to play a fun and interactive game. Now, let's describe what you're seeing on screen. Basically, you have to time inputs, which is just your basic attack button, with the crit. Uh, if you miss the crit window, you're going to do significantly less damage. Seriously, just take a couple people up into the air, you will maybe fail this twice, and then you'll have the rhythm down and you'll never miss it again. It goes slow normal crit failure that's the rhythm you'll get used to it now further to this nausea is going to do damage as they grab them smack them a bunch in the sky and then again as they land now this is where i'm going to talk about nausea's build path and i mentioned at the beginning of this video that nausea is one of the most versatile gods in the game and that's because nausea fits into a variety of different roles i'm not going to give you a specific build today just know that nausea can build into full power crit, defense, hybrid, bruiser, whatever the hell you want, Nausea can honestly build it and find success with it. If you want to know specifics on what I think are good build paths at any point, feel free to stop by my Twitch stream. I'll happily let you know. So now let's talk about Nausea's tips and tricks, because I do have a couple. I love this god. First, in the jungle or in general, with Ring Toss, if you are looking to close out and gain space on an enemy god and they are close to something that is not moving, don't aim for the moving target. If you're fighting around oracles or around a jungle camp, aim for the thing that is bigger and more predictable to hit than the god that's trying to juke you. You are still going to secure the Ring Toss bounces if you hit the thing that doesn't move. Finally, you are the setup guy. You can do a lot of damage if you build in a full power or crit, yes, that's true. But at the end of the day, your ultimate is a free setup for whatever high damaging ultimates any of the other carries on your team have. Remember that. Now, that's all the time I have to talk about nausea. If you enjoyed this video, subscribe to this channel. 
Otherwise, if you want to keep learning Smite with me right now, click this video on your screen. I'll see you there. Finally, have yourselves a casual day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.